If you ask any aviation enthusiast who'd come out on top in a face-off between the Su-35 and the F-16, the answer would be quite straightforward. The majority would argue in favor of the Russian jet. The prevailing view is that the Su-35 can comfortably outmaneuver and outgun a standard F-16 in both beyond and visual range engagements on any given day. However, the latest variant F-16V Block 72 is a different beast altogether. Equipped with the latest sensors and APG-83 radar, the Viper becomes a formidable adversary. This radar equips the Viper with 5th gen fighter-like capabilities as it traces its routes back to the F-22 and F-35. On the other hand, the flanker is outfitted with powerful thrust vectoring engines, the latest avionics, and impressive long-range missiles. Let's take a closer look at how the Su-35 stacks up against the latest block of F-16 in both WVR and BVR engagements. The Su-35 dwarfs the F-16 in size, boasting dimensions that are approximately 40% longer in length, 61% larger in wingspan, and 12% taller in height. This size advantage allows the flanker to carry more fuel and weapons, leading to extended combat patrols and increased weapons payload. Its larger airframe accommodates bigger radar and redundant avionics. In contrast, the Viper's compact profile provides it with a lower radar cross-section enhancing its stealth capabilities. Despite its smaller size, the F-16 showcases remarkable agility, excelling in evasive maneuvers and tight turns during combat missions. The Su-35 is powered by a pair of after-burning turbofans and boasts over two times higher engine thrust compared to the F-16V. As a result, the flanker can gain a tactical advantage in air-to-air -air combat scenarios and execute high-G maneuvers with ease. The Su-35 can carry 58% more weight than the Viper. This allows the aircraft to carry a larger array of weapons, fuel, and pods. The flanker's maximum speed of 1,726 miles per hour surpasses the F-16V's 1,535 miles per hour by a margin of 12%. This speed advantage provides the flanker with faster response times. As far as combat radius is concerned, the Russian aircraft's combat radius of 994 miles is almost three times greater than the Viper's. This increased radius enhances its effectiveness in both offensive and defensive roles. The Su-35's exceptional service ceiling enables it to operate at an altitude of 9,000 feet higher than the F-16's. This could potentially play a significant role in spotting and engaging adversaries from higher altitudes. The Su-35 is equipped with a PESA radar, which can detect a target with RCS of 32 square feet at up to 217 miles. However, to ensure a 100% hit rate, the radar's range is reduced to 62 miles. The aircraft's passive infrared search and track system locates and tracks airborne objects without emitting waves, while the electronic warfare system disrupts and confuses opponent radar and communications. The flanker comes with a helmet-mounted display in addition to the latest avionics. In comparison, the heart of the Viper's avionics is APG-83 AESA radar, which is based on the radars of the F-22 and F-35. This radar can detect and track 20 targets from an impressive distance of 230 miles. The Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod aids the pilot in precise ground targeting, while the helmet-mounted queuing system facilitates weapon and sensor aiming with a wide field of view. Operational capabilities are enhanced through a wide array of next-generation avionics. The F-16V has an edge in this category as it comes with AESA radar and a longer range. AESA radars are generally considered superior to PESA due to their faster beam, enhanced detection range, and improved jamming resistance. Both planes can perform tight turns, rapid rolls, or high-G maneuvers with ease. However, the Su-35's pilot can precisely change the direction of engine thrust using thrust vectoring nozzles granting the aircraft the ability to perform seemingly impossible maneuvers. The jet's higher thrust-to-weight ratio of 1.13 further enhances its maneuverability, which means it has more power for its weight. On the other hand, the F-16V is still an agile fighter with its lightweight design and precise control. The fighter jet is renowned for its exceptional maneuverability, earning it the nickname Viper for its snake-like agility in the air. But the Su-35 can accelerate and climb faster, making it more responsive in dogfights. The Su-35 is equipped with a total of 12 hardpoints, including 2 on the wingtips and 10 on the wings and fuselage. 
for long-range engagements, the aircraft is armed with R-37 and R-77 missiles. The R-37 comes with an impressive range of 247 miles. For shorter distances, the flanker relies on the R-73 infrared guided missile. Outfitted with thrust vectoring technology, this missile can hit its target up to 75 degrees off bore sight, which means that this missile can engage targets outside the direct line of sight. For dogfighting, the Su-35 is equipped with a 30mm cannon. On the other hand, the F-16V is outfitted with 11 hardpoints, which are armed with a variety of missiles. For long-range air-to-air engagement, the Viper is armed with a world-famous AIM-120 AMRAAM missile. The most recent version of the AIM-120D has an impressive range of 100 miles. After firing this missile, the aircraft's main radar guides it until the mini-radar on the nose of the missile takes over. This enables the pilot to maneuver beyond the enemy's radar detection range. For short-range engagements, the F-16V is armed with AIM-7 and Sky Flash. For close-range engagements, the aircraft has a powerful 20mm rotary cannon. The success of a 1-to-1 -one BVR engagement relies heavily on the aircraft's radar effectiveness and the capabilities of long-range missiles. The F-16V is equipped with longer-range AESA radar. As its technology is superior to the PESA radars, providing better target tracking and accuracy. Further, the Viper has a lower RCS compared to the Su-35, making it less visible on the flanker's radars, which can improve its chances of avoiding early detection and evading Russian missiles. The Su-35 holds a slight advantage with its long-range R-37 missile, boasting an impressive range of 247 miles compared to Amran's range of 100 miles. But given the Viper's lower RCS ranging from 5 to 16 square feet, it would be unlikely for the Russian jet to establish a lock on the Viper before the distance of 110 miles. As a result, the Su-35 has one shot before it comes within range of the AMRAAM. Once this scenario unfolds, the AMRAAM has a greater probability of successfully neutralizing the Russian jet. However, a lot will depend on the skill and tactics of the pilot in utilizing the aircraft's capabilities effectively. In a dogfight between these jets, various factors come into play. The size difference favors the F-16. However, the Su-35's slightly higher thrust-to-weight ratio allows it to maintain better sustained turn and climb rates. Further, its pilot can leverage with the aircraft's powerful thrust vectoring engines for additional maneuvers. However, he must focus on conserving the jet's energy and must avoid excessive maneuvers. Otherwise, the flanker could lose energy and become an easy target for the Viper. On the other side, the F-16V can overcome its limitations with helmet-mounted queuing systems and high off boresight aim 9 x missiles with better hit probability. Overall, the Su-35 has a better chance to shoot down the Viper. In conclusion, both fighter jets are highly capable war machines, and their performance in combat scenarios can vary based on multiple factors. Each fighter jet has its strengths and weaknesses, and the outcome of a dogfight will ultimately depend on the pilot's skill, training, and ability to capitalize on the aircraft's strengths while mitigating its weaknesses.